Okay, all right, so what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is episode four of the mini cut series. And today, today's gonna be a full day of eating. Now, as you saw from the intro, it's still snowing outside. It's absolutely a blizzard right now. Just check this out. Ah, damn, that looks cold out there. So yeah, we're currently having like a mini storm at the moment here in the UK. We're meant to have a next like couple days of just a blizzard all over the UK. So it's going to be absolutely freezing. Temperatures at the moment is like minus five. To me, it's too goddamn cold. And the worst thing ever to do when it's that cold is go get your hair cut and have a skin fade. Yeah, that's right. Yesterday, I went to go have a haircut. I wanted to get a skin fade done for a long time. I got it done and I completely regret doing it now because my head is absolutely frozen whenever I go out. But anyway, like I said, let's get to today's video. It's going to be a full day of eating. I've already had my breakfast, so we're going to skip to that, show you guys what's going to go down in that meal. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, let's get to it. As you saw there, that was my first meal of the day. Most of my loyal subscribers already know that. Every single morning, my breakfast will always contain some sort of eggs. It's just, just standard. That's just what I love to do to start my day. Eggs just, eggs is everything. Also, for you guys that are wondering, my weigh-in this morning is 220 pounds. I've been plateauing around 220 to 219 pounds for probably the last three weeks now. I've kind of slightly increased my cardio. I'm doing like every other day at 30 to 35 minutes. But what I'm going to do now is as I do it on the Stairmaster, I'm going to try and increase the intensity a little bit. So put the speed up slightly and see if that helps kind of break through this plateau. It also might mean that I may need to chuck in some sort of refeed or something. I'll kind of talk this over with the coach, see what he suggests, and um, just hopefully we can break through the plateau. I've got about another three weeks, or maybe just under three weeks of this mini cut. Ideally, I wanted to get down to 210 pounds, so it is kind of a realistic goal within that time, but then at the same time, it's kind of a lot of a, a weight loss within a short period of time. So we're just gonna see how we go, see how the condition is, you know, in the three weeks time. May even extend the mini cut a little bit longer because my shows are not until later on in the year. I'm looking around about August, September time, so I'm probably gonna get a little bit of a longer break before I actually go back into my prep. So yeah, that will all be decided later on down the line, but for now, like I say, we've had my breakfast, we now know my way in, it's freezing cold outside, I've got a bald head, so um, yeah, it's a great start. All right, so that's meal number one out of the way with. I've now got to wrap myself up nice and warm because I've got to head off outside there in that blizzard and it looks absolutely freezing and I don't want to freeze myself. So yeah, I've got to wrap myself up and uh, get myself off to the gym. So let's just quickly do that. That's better. Nice and wrapped up warm in my work jumper. So yeah, I'm heading off to the gym. I actually have no clients again because they cancelled. They cancelled on my last vlog that I've done. I don't know why they're cancelling because the weather isn't that bad. But I can understand they're probably trying to be safe. Personally, I think it's excuses. But if they are trying to be safe, I completely understand that. But yeah, I've got a few cancellations. So I've got a spare time. In that time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the gym and deal with my online clients. I've got some new programs that I need to write up. Had a few new clients that have signed up recently. So I'm going to get their programs written up and sent off to them. And then just kind of kill some time while I'm up there. Hopefully the fresh air will kind of liven me up and get me fresh and... Uh, a bit more motivated to get some stuff done, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so just wrapped up with some online clients. It's still blooming freezing out here, look. Damn, I just don't do the cold. But yeah, like I say, finished up with the clients. I've just got to head off now and pick up a friend of mine who's stuck at their job. So uh, yeah, because of the traffic and because of the snow and everything, nobody knows how to drive in this condition. So I'm gonna have to go pick them up. And then yeah, once I pick them up, I'm probably gonna head off back home, get some food because I haven't eaten in like 
four hours now and I'm getting a little bit peckish so yeah I think that's the plan of attack hopefully wish me luck guys that I can actually get there without either crashing the car or getting stuck in some sort of traffic and then I can actually get home and get some food in because the last thing I want to do is be stuck in further traffic and have no food me plus no food for a long period of time just equals um just no so uh wish me luck We made it back in one piece. Time to get some food. Mmm, rice cakes. So pretty much just been spending the last couple of hours just getting some editing done of this vlog just behind me which is like there my office area I just get all like my editing done my online clients plans goal setting everything like that and then also my big screen when I've done my edit I look back on it on the big screen and then just double check everything's fine but yeah I've been doing that for probably like the last two or three hours I'm getting hungry now again this is dieting for you you get absolutely hungry and I always want to eat so I'm going to go downstairs to the kitchen and uh, get some food so uh, two ticks and we'll uh, ah. that was pretty quick it's time to cook up some food oh yes Right, so I'm just about to get my next meal of the day and as you saw, it's not going to be nothing fascinating. It's going to be typical dieting, boring food. No pizza, no burgers, no fries, no Reese's, peanut butter cups. But yeah, anyway, my next meal of the day, just some mint beef and some broccoli. So I've got 250 grams of mint beef in there and then just about a handful, maybe a handful and a bit more of broccoli because I'm absolutely, like, the cravings at the moment are really kicking in. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why this is happening because even during my prep, my cravings wasn't that bad. Of course, there were days when I was like, just seriously hungry and I just was craving something, I don't wanna say sugary, but just craving something that was a little bit different from my usual plan. But for, for some reason at the moment, I'm just really craving sugary stuff. But the only thing that's getting me by at the moment are these Diet Coke cans. So I've just bought like a whole pack of 24 to last me. I'm getting like two or three of these in a day and it's just like, just kicking that satisfaction and that craving that just been happening in the last couple of days. So yeah, it is really boring my meals and I keep my food always consistent and the same. So a lot of the vlogs that you're gonna see, the foods are gonna be very you know repetitive, it's gonna be the same meals, but I just like to work that way because it makes my life less stressful and it makes everything so much more easier. If I try and do this whole flexible diet and changing my macros and changing my, my food options every single day, it's just, it's time consuming and just trying to get all the macros to you know get as close as my macros as possible and it's just, in my opinion, it's just, it's too stressful. I have other things that I need to deal with, with my online clients, my clients up the gym, my own training. So the last thing I wanna deal with was stress of food. So keeping my meals consistent and keeping it repetitive with the same options is always gonna be more beneficial for anybody out there, and especially for myself. So that's why I'm keeping it the same. Just the mints, the broccoli, and plus, I kinda enjoy it in a way. Yeah. Mint some broccoli. Beats a pizza any day. I'm just back up the gym now just to wrap up my cardio for the day now a lot of you are gonna probably be asking why am I not doing my cardio first thing in the morning now I'm not saying that fasting cardio doesn't work but in my opinion when I'm in my mini car I'm not as strict when it comes to my cardio and things like that so 
I like to just get the cardio done whenever possible, whether it be first thing in the morning, after my training session, or last thing at night. I just get it done, that's all that matters. I've got my target that I need to hit. As long as I hit that target, that is it. So I'm just doing 30 to 35 minutes. Today I'm doing a treadmill, so what I like to do is I kind of like to alternate it, just so it's not too taxing for my legs. One day I'll do like Stairmaster, then the next day I'll do the treadmill, and like I say, just keep switching it around like that, 30 to 35 minutes, nothing more. And as you can see, it's very low intensity because I'm a big advocate of low intensity being more optimal for fat loss because you use fat as a fuel source when you're doing low intensity for a longer duration. Whereas if you're doing high intensity, you're using more glucose as your fuel source. So yes, there is this whole theory and studies that you burn more calories, so you're expending more energy post um, heat session but you're gonna be using glucose as you're doing that session, as your fuel source. So I'd rather do a longer duration and use more fat for my fuel source than doing a short burst of high intervals and use glucose as a fuel source. That's just my opinion. I feel like it's worked. I've used it in my prep. At the end of the day, cardio is there to expend energy, to burn calories. So whether you do it first thing in the morning, last thing at night, you're still burning the same amount of calories. So just get it done. I hear this question all the time. When should I do cardio? What's the best cardio equipment? Anything, just get the job done, that's all it is. So anyway, I'm gonna do this, then I've got a client afterwards, get back home, wrap this vlog up because I'm knackered and I'm hungry again, what's new? And then I'll catch you guys a little bit later. I don't know how many times I've said this in today's vlog, but it's absolutely so goddamn cold, it's unbelievable. It's like, what, minus, minus 0.5 at the moment, and look at my windscreen. The snow's coming down. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, like I said, it's absolutely freezing cold today and it's gonna get worse tomorrow. I just see on the news on the way out from the gym that we got a red amber warning, no, red red warning, or I don't even know how it works. But yeah, we got a red warning for tomorrow, which means there's gonna be a lot of snow for tomorrow. So might be another day of no clients, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I need to get back home because I need to get in the warm and I want to get my last meal in. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here for you guys. I've just got my last meal to get in and then I'm off to bed because it's just gone up to 11 o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered. But before I go, my last meal, I've just got here some Greek yogurt and some whey isolate protein now this is probably something that i used to have about five years ago and when i first created this and put the combination of greek yogurt and whey isolate protein it was like the best thing i've ever tasted in my life so it's kind of like reminiscing old times right now but normally my last meal would be um 220 grams of chicken with 50 grams of avocado i haven't got any chicken cooked so what i've done is as you can see now is i put that into my fitness pal app and as you can see with the chicken and the avocado my macros are around about 52 to 56 grams of protein and about 16 grams of fat. So what I done was I worked out the measurements for the Greek yogurt and the whey isolate to match those macros. So as you can see here now, I've got 150 grams of Greek yogurt with two and a half scoops of isolate whey protein. And the macros give or take around about the same amount. So you can adjust them here and there. I know earlier I was saying about, I don't like to stress with my food and I don't like to keep changing it, but I thought I had chicken cooked, I didn't, and it's like 11 o'clock at night and I don't really fancy cooking chicken at this time of night. So I'm just gonna get this in. So what I've done is I've got one scoop in there and because there's only like 150 grams of Greek yogurt, I put the other one and a half scoops in here, which I'm gonna shake up <clears throat> and then get down me and that's gonna wrap it up for today. I say it's been a fairly, busy hectic day with work and things like that so something a little bit different for you guys on the vlog but hold on i'm just gonna test this because i couldn't wait any longer like i said five years ago when i first had this it was like the best thing ever it was like i remember telling everybody about using this if you've never tried it give it a try greek yogurt whey isolate chocolate is probably the best flavor to use it's the best thing you're gonna love it you'll probably have an orgasm but anyway that's it for today's vlog i hope you did enjoy episode four give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it also drop a comment like i always say if you have any questions that you want to ask me if you are new around here don't forget click that subscribe button before you head off and i'll see you guys on our next episode as always stay safe make it happen peace